Getting in there. One more event on our program. It's the men's 4x100 metres. Girls are going for 44 0, zero and the boys are looking for 39 zero, 0 That's the time to get themselves on the plane to the Bahamas for the World Relay Championships. Now, the Australian team will be led off by Trey Williams. Running the second leg, Nick Andrews, Hartman around the bend, and Aaron Bresland will be anchoring the team the fourth leg. And for New Zealand, it'll be Scott Walker leading them off. Joseph Miller down the back straight. Hamish Gill in third. And Zach Topping. And hopefully the men's team, they've done a fair bit of work on their changes. We'll be looking forward to uh, hopefully a successful clean race first. And then if we get a clean race, hopefully that gets us a qualifier as well. Very young team out here as well. Um, Alex Hartman, actually the oldest at 24 on this track. Trey and Nick both only turning 20 this year. Breslin 23, Hartman 24. So I'm saying yesterday, very good for the future of sprinting. And 39-0-0. Zero, zero. That's what we want to see. Australian boys ran 39-25. In Brisbane last week, and there's been some uh, changes to the team. Unfortunately, Tom Gamble just a little bit ill. So Nick Andrews taking his place, and no Jack Hale in Canberra. So Aaron Bresland. Bresland's been running 10.36 recently, so in a pretty good shape here. And a classic fast start there from Trey Williams. He's flying around the bend up on Scott Walker. It's going to be Trey Williams to Nick Andrews. Let's hope for a clean change. That's a beautiful change there. He's up against Joseph Miller, though. Joseph Miller's double PB'd. He's holding his own there. It's going to be Harmon against Hamish Gill. Hamish Gill's in the long jump earlier. He's got the baton. It's a clean change as well. A little bit messy, but we're still getting around. Hartman's flying here. Let's hope he can get a good change to Bresland. The Western Australian, the fastest man in the West. He's running this home straight. He's looking good. We need 39-0-0. That's what we want to see. What's the clock going to say? Oh, 39-28. These Australian boys have uh, running the 39-2s about a billion times this season. All they need is a 39-0-0. They don't even need to go sub-39. There is 39.28, the official winning time there for the Australian team. Unfortunately, not what they wanted, but it's obviously good to get some practice in and get as much practice as they can getting these batons around. And it's good to see, even though the order and the athletes might have changed, it was some, some, some clean changes. It looks like we got banned offerings with uh, the anchor leg for the Australian boys team, Aaron Bresland. Yeah, I'm down here with the anchor runner for the men's 4x1 team for Australia, Aaron Bresland. Now, so close. 39.20. Obviously, you need that 39.00. Obviously, it was tough out here in these conditions. It's a little bit blustery, but I think it's in there for the team. Yeah, definitely. Um, that was the first time we've all gone together. Uh, and it looked really good. I think you please one more race and we'll click and it'll be perfect. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, we've got the talent here in Australia at the moment. 100 metre running is really coming on into its own. We've got guys that are running 10-1, 10-2, 10-3. And we can put them all together and we can interchange people in and out and really put together a solid team, which obviously we've done here. So obviously, you guys will have a few more ch chances leading in and hopefully we can get and qualify to you for the Bahamas to go against the rest of the world. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, you know, it's really exciting for the sprinting prospect that... If we get really going, like it's a real benefit for showing sports, so it's going good.
Yeah, no, it certainly is. So congratulations to the Australian men's 4x1 team. So close this time. Hopefully next time they're out on the track, they can get that qualifier of 39 0